It's right apart here, and we've got a quickie Arai Pro Shield video review. You're hopefully watching this on our actually written review, but we wanted to do just a quickie review here in my dirty garage to just show you some of the features about the Pro Shield. I really, really dig this shield. A lot of guys have been asking about it. A lot of guys say it looks ugly. I really don't care how it looks, um, and the way it functions is awesome. Uh, one of the things you'll never really notice is this little rubber shield right here, this little rubber add-on at the top, keeps you from scratching the visor. I think that's one great little feature so that it's never actually touching the bottom visor, never scratching it when you're moving it up and down. One of the things that I had difficulty with when I first started using it was the latching in place. So right now, oh, see, it just skipped out of there. So it's made to latch right here with just a tiny little tab. So you push back on it and down kind of at the same time and see, I can't get it. And right there, it won't pop down with the wind. Well, the first time I used it, I could not figure that damn thing out and just finally gave up on it. So on our first big major trip, I simply just pulled over to the gas station and popped this thing off, threw it in my tank bag. That is one of the things I do like about it. It's super easy. Here your visor is mounted up. I take my fingernail, pull this little tab out. As I pull that out, pop this down. It slides right off. Pop the visor off. Slide that right back in place. Boom. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Had this thing off in 30 seconds and in my tank bag the first time I used it. So here you can see a little bit better. There's a tiny little tab right here. Hopefully I can get you zoomed in a little bit there. There's a tiny little tab right here that is your bottom and your top. So when it's in, you push back on the helmet. There's a little piece of plastic that releases there. So right there, it's locked in place. That tab is keeping it from going down, and the end of the curve right here is keeping it from going too far up. Now you push it in there as well. Now you push it forward, pushes against this little plastic piece of resistance, and down again. Simple enough. You wanted to pop it off. Up, boom, done. Slide your cover back on there. I had this thing off within 30 seconds without having to read any stupid manual or carrying it with me or breaking any little plastic tabs like I have done with many other helmets. That's some of the easy parts of it. Um, the Pro Shield retails for about 90 bucks. It can be featured on any of, we've got it on the Signet Q right here, but it can fit a Corsa V, Vector 2, RXQ, or the Defiant as well. Um, the Signet Q is by far one of my favorite helmets at the moment. Um, it is super quiet, and now with the Pro Shield, I kind of dig it. Um, some guys have complained about this not being enough. I actually think this is perfect. Um, you can see through, depending on how, kind of how you have your helmet position on your head, if you really need to. Sometimes I've leaned back and just looked through here if I needed to look past the shield. But the shield is just very light. It's basically like having a hood or a, a, a fin over the top that blocks the sun but without any of that cumbersome, without any of the wind resistance. Even when this is up, it's not really noticeable. It doesn't really whistle. It doesn't really do any pain in the ass things that any other option at the moment would do. Um, so the idea of this is painfully simple, um, and I really like it, but nobody's ever really done it like this before. Uh, one of the reasons why an internal visor won't pass Snell. So of course, Arai only does Snell helmets. They don't offer an internal visor. This is their other option. I kind of dig this a little bit more than an internal visor. I'm not a big fan of internal visors for some reason. I just don't like fiddling with them. Um, and this thing, while at first I did not like it, I thought I had to fiddle with it too much. Once you get used to it after the first few miles, it becomes super simple. Uh, my only complaints are I would like to see an improved latching system. Although that could be very difficult and for $90 for the entire shield, including this, it might cause more uh, price to jump into it and it might mean that this won't be as low profile with a legit latching system. So that is one complaint, but that may be a complaint that never actually can get resolved. Um, ultimately, I really dig the helmet, I really dig the visor, and that's basically it. Retails for about 90 bucks. And uh, if you have an Orion helmet and you're looking for something, I would highly suggest this one.